Hello everyone, welcome back to Transport Fever 2 in the Midwest region of the United States in our modded series. So today we're back in Huntsville. We already have something to do. I just saw a building in the distance get demolished. All right, interesting. But here we are in Huntsville. We are getting really backed up. We have over 500 people at the station. So I'm just gonna take a quick look at it. I do have a project in mind today and it's a little bit different. So, but first I need to fix Huntsville and Irving because there's a train with a capacity of 100 that doesn't get back and forth quickly enough. So we're gonna go ahead and replace that. So let's take a look at the track first of all. It's very straight, it should do us just fine. And down here by Irving, we have 200 people waiting as well. So let's go ahead and replace the vehicle. We're gonna replace it with our 442 over here, locomotive and add a capacity of, we're gonna do another two locomotive. Can we do that? Is that okay? Is that acceptable? I hate how it doesn't flip around. Oh, I hate that. Okay. You know what we'll do is we'll make a, we'll make something like that. Just like we did with the other line, right? Let me go ahead and do that. I'm gonna make this an electrical line and we're gonna replace it with that type of vehicle. Let me stop it before it actually goes into port. All right, so we just fixed up that line. Let's go ahead and give it the PRR class instead. And we're gonna give it a capacity of 144. That sounds great. Let's do that and we'll throw the locomotive on the other side. It looks like it faces both ways, so I don't really care. Let's go ahead and replace it for $38 million and it will make us plenty of money as well. Fix yourself out, please. There you go, perfect. So that is now fixed. Now, the project that I wanted to get into, right? Um, obviously some places need some you know, editing, such as Burbank line here. We never checked over at the, was it Cambridge that we worked on last time? Yes, a lot of people waiting here as well. Ah, uh, so many things to fix up all the time. Let's see what just needs to get fixed up over here in Cambridge first. Pink line, yeah, you probably need two more vehicles. Red line, you can probably do with at least one more. All right, so red needs one, pink needs at least two. Let's go ahead and give them, give them two for the pink line. I don't remember what the pink color was, but we'll pretend it was that one. Cambridge pink, go ahead. And then we're gonna buy one more vehicle for our red line. I believe that's what we wanted, right? There we go, add that one to the red line. And then over here down by the station, everything's actually doing all right right there, so we'll be fine there. And we can fix up more of Cambridge later. I'm not gonna worry about it. Over here at Burbank, we have a backup on what appears to be our green line. We'll give it one of those new vehicles. I'm not gonna worry about giving it, you know, upgrading the rest of them right now. I'm just gonna try to save us a little bit more money. I've been trying to color coordinate these vehicles more often just because it's easier on the eyes and it makes things look a little bit nicer. And the thing we're gonna get to is in Charlotte. And it really just isn't Charlotte, but I'm gonna start with Charlotte. Now, one of the great features about this game is that you can see who goes from what city to what. So if we take a look here at Charlotte, right, we'll see the, like under destinations, we have a lot of public transportation at a 60% increase for us because we do so well on it. However, we do have private transportation as well. So if we wanted to grow the city, we wanna make sure people from Charlotte can get elsewhere to places like Augusta. And if we take a look at here, we will, and we haven't done this yet. We will go ahead on destination layers and I already have Charlotte selected. So as of right now, people from Charlotte are kind of going mostly to what appears to be Rochester through private transportation. Uh, earlier it showed that a few actually went over to Huntsville, but it doesn't appear that too many go over to Huntsville. Now, what I wanted to do is I wanted to get people from Charlotte over to places like Augusta. Augusta also doesn't use too much private transportation as well, but they all only go to Fremont. So things like that is occurring. And as much as I wanna make money off of our lines, we also wanna grow our cities so we can make things a little bit more interesting. So over here in Augusta, right? We're right over here on a river. We need to do a project to where we can get a road on the other side. Ah, you know what is interesting is that I can actually utilize this bridge that I used for our our quarry and like our, oh my God, I thought I messed up for a second. Oh, <laughs> I, I thought we were transporting like stone over to our steel mill for some reason. Ooh. What we can do is we can just use this bridge and it can bring people to Charlotte and it can bring people to Rochester. So I can actually save a lot more money by utilizing a bridge I already have and having them cut through here. So I wanna see if this actually does work to see if people will actually use it. It's a medium country road, so 50 miles an hour. We'll go ahead and just connect it all the way up for 
our people. Okay, so we just connected up that road from Augusta all the way to Charlotte. So as you can see here, it's a little bit strange just because of uh, you know, how it kind of worked out. So they all have to come through here like the line I should do you earlier, yada, yada, yada. Uh, come through here on a straight road, pass by the sawmill and travel up this road right here into Augusta. I'm actually gonna do something that's kind of tedious, but I'm gonna go around and upgrade all these old country roads to something nicer because I wanna see if people will actually start using private transportation more. Look how, people, how, look how many people are using this bridge. Rochester, you're, you need the upgrade for the road because you got a lot of people that like to transport back and forth. They realize that, you know, taking a boat and then, or taking a boat, then taking a bus all the way up to Charlotte is not good enough for them. I respect that. Should we leave them the old bridge for now or should we give them a new one? I think we should give them a new one because we can and I have money. So let's go ahead and give them a new bridge. I'm gonna start it from up here. I think this is the proper length. We'll make sure that this is flat through here. And you know what? Do I wanna make sure that, you know, maybe a boat can get underneath here? Ooh, maybe I gotta look back at this line because we're gonna make plastic for this line. Then our steel can get shipped up there. Project time, project time, project time. Okay. This is gonna suck. Oh, this is gonna suck a lot. I think this whole entire episode is gonna involve a project and not too much management. There's no speed build now. I don't think I can do a speed build now because of how big this project is and how many different moving parts it has. Now hear me out. I'm gonna have to explain my thinking throughout the whole entire process and this is gonna be the rest of the video. We are going to have our plastics get shipped over to our goods factory. And the goods are gonna be brought to Fremont. Fremont is the smallest city so far. Doesn't get shipped anything in regards to goods for like stores and stuff like that, commercial buildings, and then the, nothing for industrial buildings either. So can we have our steel get shipped over here if we have a boat that stops right here and has a truck line that comes all the way up here, brings it to Fremont, the boat comes from over here, all the way down here. It has a small little transport line right here as well. Let's do it. That's all I can say is let's do it. We will have the boat line on the other side and we'll have an actual shipyard on that side. I was thinking about building like a canal, but it would just cost more money. Not worth it. So just looking at this, it doesn't get shipped a bunch of coal. So we're gonna make sure this place also gets more coal. Let's make sure that's handled first. I think we can give it some new vehicles for now because we went from the Blitz and now we're going to the Stud Baker trucks. So there's our new trucks. They're very boxy, but they'll get the job done. Cargo Harbor, we can build a small one and then I can have a large one, but I don't think we have anything large right now, so it doesn't really matter. There we go, cross is right there. And then we'll have to have like a little depot over here. Nothing big, just a small little drop off depot. And then we have a boat that comes through here. Can it get underneath that bridge? It can, and it can even get underneath this other bridge, which looks freaking ridiculous, by the way. Okay, so now the question is, we can get the line set up, right? Actually, I need a, sorry, I need a depot right here. But we can get the line set up, and the only problem is, is that the boat one's gonna have an issue. And it's gonna have an issue because we have two bridges that it has to cross through. I think this one's fine, as ridiculous as it looks. But it will come through here, but it gets stuck with this bridge. And then it gets stuck with the bridge over here where our canyon line runs through. Now I'm wondering, can we make a high speed track from Rochester to Cleveland? And will that make us profit or should I just discard it and move to an airline? Cause I don't do a lot with airlines right now and I've just been waiting for a big airport because I thought that'd just be easier <laughs> to be quite honest with you. Screw it. Airline's not gonna make us that much money, right? Let's just do the rail line. I was gonna say, you know what? Leave me a comment down below, but nope. We're just gonna go for it. And if we don't make money, we don't make money. What do we got? We got a new airplane, which is a freighter. And we got the Alco. No, I'm not doing the project. I hold off on it. I'm so sorry. Not doing it. Cleveland, you need an airport regardless. Let's just get over that fact right now. You will need an airport. I'm doing management based stuff right now. I gotta take a break from that. I really wish I could tell you what the best route is, but let's go to some management. Something that can give us peace of mind, right? What do we got here? Huntsville Burbank. 
You are not that popular, are you? You are not. We can replace you and give you... We can actually give you the Alco PA. What, we'll give you four cards on there? For capacity of 72? Versus a capacity of 100? And you haven't been transporting that many people because we gave you the Rochester line? I'd say that's good. What if we gave it the bigger Alco? Do I want to give it a faster train? No. There we go. Whatever, we'll just stick with that. $12 million. And then we'll upgrade that line as well for an L not an electrical track, a high-speed track. Cambridge, you got a lot of old roads. I'm going to upgrade that here soon, but we're going to give you... I was going to give you a car around, but I don't think it's going to be needed once we upgrade you. Because we can just upgrade this road right here. Upgrade the road going into the city as well. And we'll upgrade the city all the way over to Burbank so we can get some more private transportation going through here. Cool. That'll do. And then we'll just be sure to upgrade these vehicles as well. And how are we doing on management? Very bad on Cleveland tools. So we gotta go over there and fix that too. Cool. But first, I'm gonna grab more coffee. All right, coffee acquired. Now we are over by Cleveland for our Cleveland tools line. So I think all the vehicles are doing fine. I did do a little bit of management on the last episode about it that you guys didn't see because it was off screen. But our planks are doing fine and our timber should be doing fine just as well because they end up picking up just about everything. So there's only five vehicles on the planks line and then there's probably, what, 10 here? Because I know I didn't do my math correctly on that last episode where I did that. We actually have an old switch track right here I forgot about. Wow, we'll just delete that. I sincerely forgot about that because we used to use two locomotives a long, long time ago. Excuse me, sir, we're about to replace you because you are now not good enough for this line. So we're actually going to give you, I would give you the big boy if I needed the big boy, but I don't need it. So we could just give it the 4122 class 9000. I want to see how many stake carts we need first, or box carts. Stake carts, box carts, what am I, box carts, thank you. Because right now you have seven, right? And that's not bringing you back and forth enough. I would give you the Alco PA if it really mattered, but that's not a really good freight locomotive. I would give you the Alco HH if, you know, if you were transporting much less. But neither is the case. We'll just give you the, the Class 9000. Uh, everything else is in bad condition. Nothing in seriously bad condition. Rochester Cleveland Line, you're in bad condition, but you will be getting there at some point to where I will have to replace you. So I was just watching the Irving Cambridge Line, and I just realized that it didn't pick up everyone. And it's already got, like, a bunch of carts on here. I'm wondering if I can just edit this? How much money did you make? Five million dollars, jeez. I'm gonna add two more of that on there. And another locomotive to make a capacity of 162. Do I just have to start making like two different lines? I just feel like I want to keep making like a mile long train for no like valid reason. Irving, your lines are messed up too. What is it messed up in this game? Excuse me, why is Huntsville separated from Burbank through private transportation? That's messed up. There's no road that leads to it directly. Well, we're about to fix that as well. Cool. There we go. Fixed. Alright, red line isn't doing good either. Red line's just backed up by a hundred people. And yes, I'm about to do this. Just replace all of them with the twin coaches because I'm pretty sure we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten vehicles total on there. There goes two million dollars. Okay, look. I did a lot. I'm done. I did a little bit more management. This is getting hectic. So, that being said, thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video if you would like to help support the channel. Subscribe if you have not subscribed already. Comment suggestions, leave me down below because I'm running out of cool project ideas and things are just getting a little bit crazy. So, that being said, I shall see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.